Hello everybody, today we're going to discuss about split plot design over location analysis. The model for split plot design over location analysis will be in this way. First, you have to indicate the response variable or the dependent variable. And this dependent variable may be the green yield, uh, plantate, biomass yield, number of tiller, and etc. Then location plus main plot. Then again, uh, block interaction with location, main plot interaction with block and location, subplot plus main plot interaction with location, as well as here, subplot interaction with location, and again, the main plot factor and the subplot factor interaction. Finally, the third is the three interactions, that means the main plot, subplot, and location interaction. And don't forget to indicate your uh, data. So in our case, my data name is SPOV. I already imported uh, in this R Studio in order to minimize or save our time. Here is the data frame, here is the year, the location, there is a replication and uh, DS is a uh, date of sowing, is my main plot factor, variety is a subplot factor, yield and the plant date are the Y or the uh, dependent uh, variable. So uh, I strongly uh, suggest you first you have to convert uh, your uh, by checking the structure of your data. For example, my data name is uh, SPOV, so type this and uh, check the structure. So here is location, replication, uh, date of sowing or the main plot factor DS and var standards for variety are not a factor. So you have to convert uh, this uh, integer and character from what they are into factor by using as dot factor function. So uh, type this all and submit to our studio. Let's check our uh, structure. Yeah, already location, uh, uh, replication, DS and var converted to a uh, factor. Then uh, we are combining uh, two, uh, two sources of data. That means uh, we are uh, analyze, we are combining two different uh, location data. So in order to combine these different location data, first we have to check the homogeneity of variance. If uh, after checking the homogeneity of variance and it's failed to meet equal variance among the two locations, so we uh, never combine this data and instead uh, uh, carrying out an analysis for the individual site. So in order to check that, you have to use the Levin test as well as the Bartel test. And in the parentheses, you need the, the response variable and location, and you have to indicate your data name. So data is equal to SPOV. In our case, so uh, Levin test, uh, we will we will use Levin test when uh, the when we check in the assumption of normality uh, is failed. So in order to check the homogeneity of variance for not uh, for non-normal distributed data, so you have to use the Levin test. But if your data uh, is normally distributed and you are going to check the homogeneity of variance, you have to use a Bartel test. So both the syntax or the script are similar. And if the test uh, becomes significant, that means there is a problem uh, with uh, uh, location analysis. Let's go, let's check it. Okay, and sorry, uh, are showing error. That means uh, Levin test is based on the uh, card package. So you have to call uh, this package and then do analysis again. So according to the test of uh, Levin for homogeneity of variance, the uh, p-value is highly significant. That means we, there is no equal variance uh, among the locations. So we never combine uh, this uh, type of uh, data together in one form. So instead, I suggest you to analysis for uh, sort site or individual analysis. And in similar fashion, if your data is uh, normally distributed, you can uh, do using the Bartlett test and by this way. So uh, again, yeah, it is uh, highly significant. So don't combine the two uh, location data in one form. So this is how to check homogeneity of variance for different location. In case, if you conducted over years, so instead of location, you have to substitute or you have to, you have to use year in place of location and year also in place of the location in both cases.
So uh, let's go to uh, analysis. So <clears throat> every you can assign any, any name that you want, and here is the response variables yield. Here is the location. There is the date of sowing for this stands for date of sowing. That means the main plot factor, uh, replication uh, interaction with location. The main plot factor that means date of sowing with replication and location interaction. Plus the subplot factor is variety and go for main plot factor interaction with a location and subplot uh, factor interaction with location and the main plot as well as the main plot and the variety interaction. Finally, the main plot, subplot, location interaction. Then finally, you have to indicate your data name. Our data name is SPOV. So type this and run to our studio. So let's use ANOVA. So accordingly, uh, you know, only the location is significant, but the rest uh, source of variation are not statistically significant. If you uh, if you want, if in case uh, if the main plot factor or the subplot factor is significant, so you have to use uh, this way in order to do the mean separation. So uh, uh, I put an, uh, an example for you for uh, checking the mean separation using the least significance difference, which is based on my quality pa package. So uh, run quality uh, package, then uh, you have to uh, indicate, it. for instance, if it is a honest significance difference, so you have to change this hsd.test. Uh, if it is Duncan, you have to use Duncan. And if you have, if you are, if you want to use Shippy, also you have to change. Or I suggest you to uh, trace back my previous videos uh, on mean separation. So AV is what we created here, and location is uh, uh, things that you are going to compare. For example, if you want variety, so I, I type here variety, or if I type the main plot factor, I type here is DS. DS stands for data of sowing is our main plot factor. So uh, console is also true, that means the result will be printed here. And it can categorize which one is the true. So if you type this, you will get the LCD value for two locations. That means for Jima and Tepi. And comparing both locations, Jima is high potential comparing to Tepi. And again, uh, if you uh, if you want, if in, in case if your uh, your your ANOVA is significant or your result is significant, for example, for main plot. So in similar fashion, like location, you have to do for the rest one. But uh, as according to the ANOVA result, it's not such a significant difference. Do again for the variety and also the variety interaction with uh, the main plot factor and the subplot factor interaction in case if you want this. So you type this and uh, run. So this is all about today's tutorial. And if you have any question regarding to my tutorial, you can address me through my email, wagtratasfan.gmail.com, or I will put on the description box. And the next video, I'll come up with a split plot uh, design or a split plot design over location using mixed model. Until then, have a nice time.